So the root, root uh, in light and quality will be, as I teach always, this deep connection to the stillness in your body, right? Deep connection to that stillness of that inner essence, inner space. That's a good root enlightened quality, which most people don't have. So first, you, you feel that. You feel more connection to your inner stillness. Before, when your body has so much stories of pain body, so much stories of the um, conflict, it's hard to experiencing the, experience the inner stillness. Because it's always, always there's a movement. And sometimes they're so subtle, it's hard to even notice that. So there's always something. So it's difficult to experience that inner stillness. So, and then this, as far as the speech is concerned, same thing. So the, the root sense of what we say enlightened, enlightened speech will base in silence. So this sense of deep silence. And, and not only, uh, how you say that, uh, having the silence, but most importantly, being aware of that silence. It's called awareness of the silence, right? We call wisdom. So if you think about wisdom of silence, it's a term that we use in the teaching. Yudh may be yishe. So the silence is the kind of root of the speech. And then once you, again, if, you, if, the, if the speech is not purified, that, that means there is a lot of unsettling, ungrounded uh, voices of pain inside. If those voices are very activated inside, it's very difficult to have access to the silence. If you don't have access to the silence, it's very difficult to have any qualities. A positive speech is very difficult when there's no silence. Because everything, all the pain speech come, comes out of lack of silence or lack of connection to the silence, right? That makes sense? Every time when you say something wrong, which you know you said something wrong and you don't like what you said and you say something wrong to yourself. You sub first you say wrong to somebody and then you don't like yourself, then you say another wrong to yourself. So it's the two wrong things your speech has said and uh, why they came from, why they came, where they came from, lack of settledness, lack of stability in that science. Do you agree with that? So if, if, if there is a more connection to the silence, definitely it will be different speech. Even something looks like a not good speech, but then it will be much better. Even, even, even expressing a pain will be a much better, better way to ex express the pain. In the teaching, they never say don't express. It always encourages you to express. But it always talks about how you express. Right? Some people's word looks like a kindness. It's far, how you say, how you say somebody's, what looks like a not very kind, very direct, straightforward, is far better than somebody what looks like a kindness, but it's, a, it's not genuine. Because it's somebody saying something out of fear. But they really don't, they're not saying what they're saying. But somebody who says something which doesn't look like a nice, but they're saying it. From the right place. And when they, when they are coming from the right place, receptivity in the world is very different. They are placed when it's coming from the right place, there's a place, place in the world for that. When, come, when something is coming from wrong place and it looks good, looks good, it eventually, even though it looks like it has a place, but eventually you will see it does not have a place 
there. So, speech, then the mind is the same thing. So, enlightened, uh, the blessing of enlightened mind means that first root quality of enlightened mind is able to feel open in your heart, able to feel open in your mind. Because if, you are, if your heart is open, if your mind is open, from that openness, it gives to birth to a lot of positive emotions. Or even it gives birth to the negative emotion in a sense of clearing, releasing. So these are stillness, silence, spaciousness is the root enlightened quality of body, speech, and mind. But on the top of that, then many qualities manifest. Many qualities of the stillness, many qualities of the silence, many quality of this, uh, qualities of the openness of the mind. That means every single manifestation of your body, every single manifestation of your speech, every single manifestation of your mind that you know and that probably 99.9 .9 even you have no clue what can manifest from your body, speech, and mind. They have not manifested yet. But they can manifest. 